So there have been many trials evaluating the use of bivalve rodin for patients with acute coronary syndromes, ST elevation as well as non-ST elevation, ACS. Uh, most of the trials historically have been using bivalve rodin together with a GP2B83 inhibitor in the control arm. So they have actually compared bivalve rodin versus heparin plus GPI. We wanted to try to, uh, to test if bivalirudin is superior to heparin alone without the use of any GP2B3 inhibitors. And we wanted to give bivalirudin the best possible chance. And so we said that we want to pre-treat pre patients with heparin before coming to the cath labs with STEMI or non-STEMI, uh, or at least anticoagulation. We wanted to treat all patients with oral P2I12 receptor inhibitors because nowadays we use oral P2I12, primarily ticagrelor. And we want to use primarily radial approach, uh, as we do in, in, in Europe and Sweden in particular. So we designed the Validate trial uh, to look at patients with non-ST and, st and ST elevation ACS, uh, treated as I just explained, and then randomized to receive heparin only or bivalirudin only. We presented the main results of the trial at the ESC, published simultaneously in the uh, in the New England Journal of Medicine, and now at the TCT we have presented the subgroups with STEMI and as well as the subgroup of non-STEMI. We showed in the overall trial, as published in New England Journal of Medicine, that bivalirudin was similar to heparin. There was no statistically significant difference. The trial was powered and the design of the trial was to show superiority of bivalirudin. We failed to show that superiority, so the outcome was similar. The primary out outcome of our trial was a composite of death, MI, and major bleeding uh, at 180 days, at six, six months. Now in the STEMI cohort that I just presented today, uh, there was no difference again between bivalirudin and, or, and heparin. Uh, the curves are almost superimposable for the primary composite endpoint. There was no difference in mortality. There was no difference in myocardial infarction. There was no statistical difference in stent thrombosis. Inter interestingly, the, there was a numerical benefit for bivalirudin, but it was not statistically significant. In some other tri recent trials, the, the vice versa has been shown. So in this trial, bivalirudin was just as good or numerically slightly superior to heparin, but no statistical difference. There was no difference in, in bleeding events uh, or stent thrombosis. So basically, it shows that bivalirudin with this background is similar to heparin. So the clinical conclusion, I think, as long as bivalirudin is more expensive than heparin alone, uh, we should stay with heparin, the most uh, affordable option. The, the, the results were consistent both in the STEMI cohort as well as the non-STEMI cohort. And we actually powered the study individually for STEMI and non-STEMI. So we enrolled 3,000 patients in each cohort and the results are very similar, despite there are differences between these two populations. In each of these subpopulations, we also looked into subgroups and there was no heterogeneity. There was very similar outcomes in men and women, old and young, uh, those with high thrombotic burden, uh, poor flow, uh, renal insufficiency, age, uh, everything was very similar. So there's really no heterogeneity. All studies have their, you know, their, their specific limitations. Uh, this, what is special with the Validate is that we enrolled a very large proportion of the eligible population in fact, about 60% of the eligible population in the country. So it's a, it's a very broad patient population, and it is more uh, similar to, to clinical practices and many other, as many other trials. So this, our population is older than most of the previous trials. Uh, it's more complex disease. We have very, had very few exclusion criteria. So it's very, uh, it's, it's very high external validity is very generalizable to the uh, populations we have. The limitations uh, may be that um, uh, no, we, we, we cannot really say why is not bivalirudin superior to, uh, to heparin. 
Um, we used oral P2I12 receptor inhibition, but for STEMI, most of the effect of those oral agents have not come into play because the absorption is, is too slow. Uh, why is this different as compared to previous trials? Um, we can't really tell about the mechanisms, uh, but otherwise there are very few methodological limitations. We, are, we have decided together with all the other investigators of large bivalent written trials to merge the data um, one by one. So it's a, it's a direct merging of individual patient data into a large meta-analysis that will be able to look at more different, different types of subgroups. The, different, the other trials have slightly different designs, uh, particularly when, uh, as it comes to uh, combining heparin with GPI in the control arm. But in this large database, I think we will be able to more understand some important subgroups such as women, uh, patients with low body weight, poor renal function, those who have a higher bleeding risk. Because a consistent finding in previous trials is that the bleeding risk uh, is lower with bivalirudin versus heparin because bivalirudin is, provides a more uh, uh, controlled anticoagulation as to compared to heparin. So we will be able to look at some specific, specifically interesting subgroups in this large meta-analysis. We are merging data right now, so I think we'll, in, the, in the next few months or the next year we will be able to come up with some of these um, papers, I'm sure.